This, uh, I have a short link for you, cat5.tv slash scale, and let's open it up. And I have opened it and I've paired it. I received this yesterday, so I've already used it oh. twice. Okay, so I've stood on it twice. So what's different about the Renfo Smart Scale? I'm calling it a Smart Scale. They do not call it that. That's not what they deem it. Okay. It's not just a scale. Okay. What? So, okay, so why do they not call it a Smart Scale? Because it's like... Um, well, you see these metal pieces? Yes. So you, you can't use it when you're wet. Don't get out of the bath ah, and stand yeah, on okay, it. Makes sense. This is an electronic device. And when I step on it, with my feet touching all of these diodes, I feel a little like Dr. Ho in my foot. Oh. Just a okay, little, that little tingle, tingly yeah. sensation. Okay. okay. I'm going to show you the app that, that it's actually paired with so you can see how incredible this is. Just I'm looking down at my notes. So they, they call it bioelectric impedance analysis. So using these bioelectric sensors, mm -hmm. it's able to track a whole lot more than your standard scale. Okay. So for 35 bucks, this tracks. Ready? Yeah. Okay, my weight, obviously. Okay. Body fat percentage. Okay. BMI, water percentage. Hmm. You, like I can tell how much water weight I'm carrying. Fat-free body weight. What would I weigh if I didn't have all this fat? Any fat at all. Which skeletal. Would not be yeah. Skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, visceral fat, subcutaneous fat, protein, basal metabolism, and body age. It, could, it tells me all that. Really? Yeah. From your feet? From my feet. For 35 bucks. So, of course, it's much more than just weight. Huh. So... I'm just going to move the box out of the way here, just kind of right over there. So it looks like that, just like a scale, right? Yes. You so it's funny, knowing that it's glass, I'm like, I wouldn't want to step on that because I break it. Well, it'll, <laughs> it'll take like, I think it's like 300 pounds or something like that. Here's a quick correction. This smart scale is made using 5 millimeter thick tempered glass. It can support a weight of up to 396 pounds or 180 kilograms. You want to like observe the manual, make sure. Um, I did check that, um, that it would take weight. Yep. And right. obviously it will. It does have some support in the middle there. Uh, I did see one review where somebody had broken it. And I really felt when I read that review, like they didn't read the warnings the the right. that you like have to step flat. down you have to step down on each of these sensors yeah that makes i sense. feel like they must have stepped like smashed down in the middle, right in the middle and cracked it or something right that's just kind of right. how it felt it certainly feels solid anyways so with all those things that it's able to track i'm able to find out like my my body's age yes so yesterday when i first tested myself i was 44 years old uh -oh. so that's not four bad. Four years older than I'm supposed to be. Right. But that's not bad. Birth. That's not but, that's not bad, but it's <clears throat> also not great. I it's not of, 60. I kind of want to do it, except that I don't want to put my bare feet on your scale. Well, and I don't want there. you to either because I don't want it to change. It'll be like, my, whoa, you're so wow, good. Wow, you're doing so good, Robbie. So this is only you that can use it. Like mm. your wife couldn't C stand could on you it. Multi, could you set up multiple users on that scale? That's a beautiful thing. Yes, you can. Oh, okay. that is good. However, I'm holding my phone right now. It's oh. paired right now. Yes. So if you stepped on this, it would go into my app. I'm not going to. I, A, because I'd have to take my socks off and step with my bare feet on your scale. And that <laughs> would be weird to me. Okay. It is multi-user, though, which okay. I thought was cool because, that is cool. Uh, yeah, my wife could use it if she needed it or wanted to, but uh, she has no use for it. She's gorgeous. Um, well. So <laughs> um, I'm going to just actually bring up the app for you, and I want to show you what, uh, what the setup process was like. It was absolutely brain-dead simple to get this thing paired into my phone. Um, so jumping into that, all I had to do was just open, add the device, step on the scale once, and then it detected the device itself. Cool. Now this is gonna be embarrassing. I'm gonna step on the scale. And you can see it's spinning there. It's zapping my feet. This is great, you're so vulnerable. I'm very vulnerable <laughs> right now, so there I am. 191 pounds oh right now. I haven't this seen 191 in point. a That's long my starting time. point. That so, is awesome. What that tells me, I'm going to change modes here. 
And I'm going to actually do this live so that you two can interact with me. So this morning, I weighed myself again, and I'm a little bit lighter, so I like my morning weight. I'm going to hey, use that. Good. So I, I only weigh myself in the morning. <laughs> my morning weight is fast. So I've brought up the, my weight, and, and I look like I'm doing really, really well. I'm down 3.2 pounds from last night. Whoa. Okay. So it's already tracking. So by doing morning and night, it's actually tracking those trends and where I'm at throughout the day. So your intention is twice a day Yeah. to weigh yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Once in the morning, once, once when I'm getting like my PJs just, on kind yeah. of thing, getting ready for a show. Okay. So what's interesting here in the app is that now that it's gathered all this information, mm -hmm. look at all that. So not wow. just my weight, but BMI, body fat, and so on. So if I actually touch my weight, it shows me where I fall on the scale, where I should be and where, where I am right now. Right. Okay. So again, that doesn't tell me to lose weight. That shows me what is a healthy weight consider considering where I should be with my height and my, my age. Right. Could you use that and have displays without pairing it to a smart device? This is yeah, you can use it as just a standard room. scale. Yeah. Okay. Like if you want to just measure your weight. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, but, but I wanted to do so much more. Yes. I've clicked on body fat here and it shows my body fat is 24.5%, which is just on, I, I'm going to be a glass half full guy and say that that's just on the edge of acceptable. <laughs> I'm not going to mention that that's just on the edge of obesity, but well, you that's... go from acceptable to obesity. Yeah, I feel like that's a big jump. That's really mean. Um, so I want to actually bring it down. I'm I'm going to feel really really good if I ever get down to like the fitness area or right. in the middle low acceptable range. Okay. Right. okay. So that kind of stuff helps me to just kind of start setting goals. So then I can click on all of these things and I see my metabolic age is 44, and it tells me. The ideal physical body age, uh, which today is 43, by the way, I lost a year overnight. I had a really good sleep. This is great. <laughs> but that's only tracking after two, yeah. two steps on the scale. So yes. it's going to get more and more accurate as I go. Ideal physical body age is two thirds of the actual age. So that, again, doesn't tell me what to do, doesn't tell me what I should be doing. It just gives me, Robbie, the guy who doesn't have time to go to the gym, some kind of goal so i can see that okay i would love to get down to 42 within the next couple of weeks right and and start and and start seeing what it takes to do those things yes i can tell you as somebody who has a smart scale mm -hmm. um that it is very motivating that's all I want right? is motivation. It is very motivating. And some <laughs> amount of direction. Yes. Like knowing that hey i should try to get my age down to in the 30s. Yeah. Right. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Could you imagine? So each of these items has something else. Like if I click on muscle mass, I have high muscle mass. Been working out, as you can tell. And, and all that kind of stuff is here in the interface. It just makes it really, really accessible, really easy for me to understand as a, as a kind of a noob. Right. Now, in order to figure out like your BMI, did you have to put in parameters such as your height? Yes. And, okay. Mm -hmm. So there yeah. was some configuration on that end. Yes, okay, which yeah. was surprisingly <clears throat> simple because uh, it's birthday, mm -hmm. height, which I just took off my driver's license. It allowed me to switch between um, centimeters and inches. Right. Okay. Right. So um, it, it was really quick to set up, really easy to pair, and awesome. Cool. So, so I'm really pleased with that. I think that's going to have a big impact on my ability to um, to find and create some goals for myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you said you wanted to learn more about your health. Yeah. So other than just seeing these stats, yeah. what does that mean? Like, well, the, the goals that it shows. So if I fire back up my app here. So the, the fact that, for example, it shows this graph here that shows that if I was 165, I'd be on the high end of normal. They use the term right. normal, but the, the healthy weight yeah. for my age and height. So that can be, for me, a goal. Yes. Right. So I guess what I'm, I'm, the leap I'm trying to get to is mm -hmm. how do you make change there? Because if Personally, just, how do I make yeah, changes like in my life? If you're just life? standing on that and you're looking at it going, I've tried cutting oh, it's my hopeless. food in the past. <laughs> like I've, you know, I've tried things in the past, but now yeah. I've got something that's tracking me. 
Like, it's how do you look at that? It's the positive reinforcement of I, it. I think right? so. It that's is, my, that's what exactly. I'm thinking. Exactly. It's the fact that when you make choices like, okay, instead of eating pasta noodles, I'm going to eat zucchini for dinner. How did you know? Right? Well, and then you weigh yourself and you're like, oh, wait, that worked. Or right, yeah. instead of but having But one meal's this, not going to make a difference. No. But, so but it's a long-term... And lifestyle changes and things yeah. like that. For yeah. example, I'm going to walk my dog a little more often. Right. right. Okay. So just getting out and doing that kind of stuff. Right. Um, I did, <laughs> pardon me, a fair bit of walking over the holidays um, and really enjoyed walking while my daughter shopped. So she was doing her Christmas shopping and I right. walked and walked and walked through the mall. That works. So to, just a very simple way to, to do something. But yeah, you mentioned zucchini. Yes. So my wife was making spaghetti last night mm -hmm. and I had already told her that I was going to try to reduce my car, uh, my carb intake because I read, um, some scientific studies that taught, and again, not medical advice. I don't know all this stuff, but I'm learning. Okay. So this is for me. Um, I learned that my body is burning carbohydrates because I'm taking in so many carbs. So then I'm not burning any fat. Right. But if I reduce my carbohydrate intake, it doesn't have the carbs to burn, so it's going to be burning some of my body fat. So right. I'm going to reduce my body fat and get a little healthier. Right. So that's something that I want to try to do is try to bring down my carbs. So two examples from yesterday that were really, really easy. So we were having spaghetti for supper. So instead of spaghetti, the sauce was already made. <laughs> Pardon me. I just simply spiralized a zucchini. And okay. I sauteed it with some garlic powder, some olive oil, and it was really, really good yes. it, as, as a sp spaghetti alternative. Right. It was like spiralized, so big, long, stringy mm -hmm. noodles of zucchini. I know you don't like zucchini. You've got to try this, dude. You've got to try it. It was really, really good. So I didn't take in any carbs on that. Can you spiralize pizza into spaghetti noodles? <laughs> I don't see why not. <laughs> no, it's got a crust. That's carbs. Um, so then later, later on in the night, <laughs> pardon me. And I've had this tickle all week, but uh, so forgive me. It's going around. Yeah. Um, later on in the night, I wanted a snack and I started looking at the chip bags and the carbs are really high, like 30 grams, 35 grams of a serving of potato chips. Dehydrated chickpeas are way better. Chickpeas? Okay. Chickpeas, I've also heard kale chips. Yes. So, so these are just little yep. ways that just by being conscious of it, Jeff. So I'm conscious of it. So I'm starting to make decisions where I say, okay, I'm not going to have the chips because I've already had enough carbs today. So I'm not going to have 30, 35 grams of carbs. Right. Um, and that's, I'm not hydrate? counting. No, I don't. Um, I'm not counting carbs. I'm not counting cholesterol or anything like that. Yeah. I'm just saying, okay, if it's, I'm aiming for like 50 or less carbs per day, uh, grams. And so if I'm approaching that, then I'm just not going to have chips. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So. Okay. This, as you mentioned, kind of gives me positive reinforcement motivation. Exactly. It lets me challenge myself in a competitive way. Okay. So I'm competing with myself to say, okay, can I do this? And I'm not starving myself or anything like that. I'm just, I've got information about myself that I can now use to try to get healthier. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. That's what I want to try. So will you join me for that? And over the course of the next several months, I would imagine, I mean... Let's see where I go. So I've set my target weight here as 150. Yeah, it's, that's good. I think that's a, a fair goal. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to look skinny at 150. I think so. It says that the high end of normal is 165 for me. So if I got to 150, that'd be insane. Apparently, my ideal body weight mm -hmm. is 192. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I would look incredibly ill at 192. Mm -hmm. I am above my ideal body weight too, but I'm happy with where I'm at, mm -hmm. right? Like my, yeah, bo my ideal body weight, I think is 113 or 114 or something for my height. I would have to lose almost Except. 75 pounds to get to that. Mm -hmm. Like, could you imagine taking 75 pounds off me? Like, I think I would look not healthy. Yeah. Hmm. That's a lot. Wow. How, how much would you say you weighed when we met each other? Uh, you were a lot younger. Back, I, back I was 150 when station, I got married. Uh, I think I was 205. Okay, yeah. So 191 would seem. Yeah. When I look back small. at photos of when Jen and I were dating, yeah, I was like the two 205, mm -hmm. and like the cheekbones were in, and like I was quite. I, I don't know, skinny is the right word, mm -hmm. but compared to what I am now, it was like I would, you know, the wind blowing. Right. Jeff's gone. 
So, <laughs> so if I had to go like 10 pounds lower, be like, oh my goodness. We are talking weight. Um, just for those of you who are wondering, I'm five foot eight. So you can kind of get an idea where I fall at one, 191 pounds or 187. So I clicked on fat free body weight, which I think is kind of interesting. Like what if I didn't have that extra fat? Right. And it says that I would be 141.8. So that's kind of neat. No, that's not right. I don't know. I'm learning. That's not right. No, because my fat-free body weight, hold on, let me just... What is fat-free body weight then? Am I not understanding what that means? No, you're right. You're you're right. It's weird, the fat-free body weight. But it's not normal. Like, because you need some fat. That's like if I had no fat. My fat-free body weight is 80 pounds. (laughs) Okay. That's crazy. Wow. But that doesn't make any sense in That's real just life. your bones. You would, no, you, you would actually like Isn't it like 12 okay. to 15 yeah. percent? So s- stick a couple pounds on there yeah. for fat. Yeah. All right. It's healthy. Very good. So, so I'm yours, learning how it works. Yours is like $100 less than mine and does wow. all the, scale? Of the same thing. This guy? Yeah. I th- find it interesting to I'm learn. The like I'm, I'm, look at my I'm 54.5% water. Like it shows me that. So, right. anyways, that's enough about this guy here. Um, <laughs> you, you get the gist of it. It's, I'm not talking about losing weight. I'm talking about the technology that and I am kind of inadvertently <laughs> talking about losing weight because that's my right. end game. But the technology that's going to help me to do that, to stay healthy. Will yours show like a graph over Yeah, time? it does. Yeah. Oh, N- more than one graph. Fine. It shows like, so I can click on BMI and it will show me the graph for BMI. It will yeah. sh- uh, wait and it will show me the graph for weight. Same, yeah, same like kind of deal. Same idea. Yep. Okay. Same so deal. Here's the question I have. Yes. Why do you feel the little electrical pulse well i imagine is that explained well these these electrodes so two of them touch your your left foot two of them touch your right foot right but you said you felt like that dr ho has sensors right like electrical it sends an electrical pulse actually sending an electrical pulse i imagine so it must it has to so you probably can't to. use it. If it you're doesn't a hurt. It's nothing. Well, that's no, exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, Pre- not- pregnant or pacemaker, don't don't use this. Okay. 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 Interesting. Um, children shouldn't use this. Hmm. Um, all right. So quickly, it syncs with Samsung Health, Apple Health, Fitbit, and Google Fit app. Um, and it was again super easy to set up and pair with with the with my phone, and and that was really really breezy. Um, and I think that pretty much you know covers everything that. Uh, that we need to talk about with that other than the fact that from someone like myself who really knows nothing about physical fitness to an athlete this thing is for you mm-hmm. like it's it, it it has modes that you can set for a, your various athletic type and it will it will be applicable for you